Hi everyone, creating a little intro from future me because I posted the video and many of you kindly let me know that A, you would love to see videos regardless. So I thought, listen, I should not let this lovely little New York video go to waste and have a little time. And also I thought the Tracy Anderson workout was hilarious and I kind of wanted you guys to see the footage anyway because I was very curious and perhaps some of you are as well. So I thought, Listen, we're gonna muddle together some of the footage and bring you guys along to my brief little journey in New York. We're getting ready and doing some things, you know, so we're gonna flash forward to New York here. Please enjoy, but stay tuned after for us to have another discussion. Good morning from New York. <laughs> I am here with my girlfriend, Ellie. We're here for a cute little three-day girls trip and it has been a blast. And we've decided to call this our little wellness trip because one thing that I love about New York, and I mean really America in general, but LA and New York, even though I didn't technically do this when I was in LA, but, but anyway, New York specifically has so many different options for classes and wellness things that I have never otherwise even heard of and I just think it is such a magical place it's a very expensive place it actually like when you go to book a class I remember a few years ago years ago when we were like really in our spin phase ride cycle club used to be 26 was 26 or 28 I think it was at the start it was 26 dollars a class and then if you like bought class packs it made it cheaper every time right and at that time we were doing a ride we were super into spin and we had come to New York me and Vanessa and Dan and we did a soul cycle class and at the time it cost 42 us dollars to do a spin class and it was just we were like what <laughs> that's like 60 dollars canadian it was crazy like it's so grossly priced here i don't know how anybody lives i come here for three days and i'm like hmm <laughs> and suddenly my bank account is empty <laughs> it's wild so um the day that we're about to go on is going to absolutely we're just going to collectively ignore the cost of things on this day shall we but with my enjoyment of this i thought it'd be fun to take you along so you guys can see too so we booked a little a little wellness morning and i'm so excited to just try these things that i see all over tiktok that i see people doing i find it so fascinating and i hope you guys will enjoy it as well Welcome to New York. Every time I say that, I literally, it's like just it's Taylor Swift season. It's Taylor Swift season right now. I just want to sing to you, welcome to New York. Oh, quick room tour because it's, oh, it's such a cute room. Obviously it's a mess and I just slept. What else is new? Bathroom, my bathing suit's hanging there. Don't mind it. Da -da. Cute, cute, cute. You walk in. There's my shopping bag from yesterday. <laughs> cute little coffee and bar station. Closets there. Little chair. Look at this. Look at this giant room with the beautiful two big windows. I'm obsessed. So nice. Bed. Ugh. Heavenly. Right through that window is the catch restaurant patio. And when we were checking in, the sweet man, Jason, who works at the hotel, he was so nice. He was here chatting with us forever. And he was like, oh, that's the catch patio. You can see a lot of action there. And I was like, well. Perfect, let me just sit here and people watch. <laughs> Anywho, the first stop on our adventure is Remedy Place. Okay, so we've come to Remedy Place and we're doing a couple things here. It's kind of crazy, like it's a whole wellness studio and they have a bunch of different things. They have like cold plunge, they have a lymphatic drainage, machine that you put on your body they have like a red light therapy bed and then here in the back they have their iv station <laughs> listen this is not something that i've ever been like it's just not something i've ever done i know a lot of people get iv drips and like get vitamin drips and a lot of my friends do it and it's it's not something that we don't have at home but i think it's a lot more common I, like i've seen it a lot more in new york and la so I'm not down with that. I'm terrified of needles. I don't like getting my blood taken. Like I just, I'm like a, a concern for fainting patient, you know? So I'm not doing an IV drip, but we are gonna get a vitamin B12 shot. Um, I've actually had one of these before and it kind of does, it makes you feel amazing. And I'm, I'm down with it. They were like, oh, we had booked in to do our cold plunge and they're like, we also have these oh. things that you can do, a little booster to add on. And I'm like, yeah. Let's do that. So we're coming into this little pod and we're getting a vitamin shot. Um, is it $50 US for one little shot? Yes, it is. Will it make me feel amazing? I hope so. I was not aware that this is something that went in your butt. I, I thought this was in my mm -hmm. arm. So is there a preferred cheek? Uh, it's really up to you. I gave her my right. Well, I, 
like for the heart. Is that a thing? Nope. Okay. It really doesn't matter. Do oh I my need God, to pull I'm regretting. Down just one side, and then you're gonna put all your weight into the other side. Is that for? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, perfect. Um, is that cheeky enough? Yeah. Oh my god, cute. <laughs> Should I breathe? Yeah, definitely. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> I told you. You felt nothing, right? No. But still, what a concept. How often do people get these? Um, you can get it every five days. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. And what should I be feeling? What should I expect from this? Uh, B12, it's mostly going to be energy, um, but it's not going to be like, I don't know. Like, like you won't feel like, of, like coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. like pretty like subtle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Perfect. Should I feel yeah. tingling? Do you feel tingling? I do. Um, some people feel like a little bit. <laughs> okay. It really depends on the person. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Alicia. Yeah, 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 Thank you so you much. Have a great day. Bye. So the last time I had this, it was in the arm. I, I don't know why that just, I said to Ellie, it makes me feel very vulnerable to just be like, yes, give me a cheek. I don't know. Every time I've had a V12 shot, they put it in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we're going to be coursing with energy, now we're going to go cold plunge and we'll show you this very cute room. I love the fire in the bed. It's so nice. Do you guys have <laughs> So we're in here, this is our little room. Here's the tubs. You lay here first for, oh, there we go. For breath work. Tracy Anderson method and it's simply simply because we've been seeing the workouts all over TikTok. She's not new by any means. She's been around. It looks positively hysterical, the, the movements in this, and we've been so curious. So we booked in. We're gonna go do a Tracy Anderson class. I don't know if I can take anything in there, I'll obviously try, but otherwise I'll report back after. I'm hungry. I am tired from the cold plunge, which should be the opposite effect technically, but I'm hungry. This is gonna be interesting. Let's go see what's up. Alex came. Hi, honey. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> Simply be good in bed. There's no way. That like this is part, the rush split in the middle. Literally. I when you roll back, like, like you are procreating. Like <laughs> yeah. 
training. It was, yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Like if you do it again though, and you get more used to the move, it would be like, you're just like getting a fucking good workout. Where it's, if it's your first time, that's a lot to digest. Yeah, that was a lot. But holy, what a sweat. Like my pants are literally stuck to me. Wet. And I sweat out five pounds of water. Yeah. Like you're dripping. If you want a, a cleanse, yeah. go in there. It like, was, you will yeah. sweat out any toxin you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, there you have it, gang. Tracy Anderson. Yeah. Yeah, girl. <laughs>Just give me a minute. My skin just needs to chill out for a sec. Let's talk Tracy Anderson. So basically my desire to go to Tracy Anderson came from seeing it on TikTok because I saw so many, so many New York girlies, actually LA too. She has one in LA uh, going to this. And I know that Tracy Anderson has been around for a very long time. Like it's not new, but I had personally never seen anything about the workout. And then suddenly like it's just been popping off on TikTok. And then therefore I've been served all the ads like the Tracy Anderson ads on Instagram because everything's listening. <laughs> and from the few snippets I saw, I was like, wow, everyone looks absolutely drenched in sweat. This looks like a great workout. What's going on? What am I, what am I missing here? So I just thought, listen, Ellie, we're coming to New York. Let's give it a go. I was going to try it in LA, but I thought I knew I was going to New York with Ellie after. And I'm like, I'm absolutely not going to have, like Dan's not going to do this class with me. So I think it'd be fun to do it on our little girl's trip. And Ellie really wanted to go too. So it was perfect. And then Alex joined, which was just like a beautiful, a beautiful trio <laughs> rocking up to Tracy Anderson all together. Um, so we did it and I can't, begin to express to you how much I was not prepared for what that class was. I was so not prepared, first of all. I didn't know until very close to that it was gonna be in a hot room. So it was like the hot yoga, oxygen yoga, hot room. I posted a clip of me doing the workout on Instagram. So many of you were like, oh my God, why are your arms sweating? <laughs> No, you guys, every poor Ellie was like, my eyeball is sweating. It's so hot in there. And hey, like, be prepared, be prepared. You come out as if you've just showered. Then it's a wooden floor, but it's like a bouncy wooden floor, which is actually very satisfying to hop up and down on. And um, we did the 60 minute intermediate class because even the class description was like, this is a beginner friendly class too. And some of the other classes were half an hour and I don't like a half an hour class. I, I like, I like a full body sweat, you know? So we did the 60 minute class. Some of the classes say members, some of the classes say you can book it. We booked it on MindBody. Like I didn't book it directly on the website because the website was very unclear <laughs> on which ones you were able to book. But if you have the MindBody app, which I mean, I've been using MindBody for years for like all the various classes. Uh, yeah, there's some that are members, some that you can book. And then I, there's like, I don't even know how long it was because I was, I, I need you guys to know how uncoordinated of a human being I am. And I did not realize that there would be elements of dance in this class. And I want to say the first like 10, 15 minutes is a warm up, and it is like a coordinated, coordinated, synchronized, you guys get it. There's like a dancing warm up. 
and it is i was obviously at the back obviously at the back but i was pissing myself laughing i couldn't like you guys i was flailing it was just too fast they hold a move for like two seconds before switching to another one i don't even have enough time to comprehend what's going on it was hilarious and i absolutely could not do it and then when we got to the workout it was like okay i, I mean i can do this i can follow along but at that point you're just so dripping in sweat that you're like please help <laughs> please help the other thing all the moves are very to me anyway as someone who's like tried a lot of classes and workouts and whatnot it's very sexual i said it already it was sex training it was sex training everything was every move that had my legs spreading to the ceiling i was like oh this is training isn't it all of you are good at sex that's what this is giving and it did feel like a very like model celebrity workout like it was a good workout but would i ever do a membership there no <laughs> However, if I if I could get the like, oh my God, choreography. That's what choreographed. That's the word. See, it comes to me eventually. If I could get down with the choreography, I feel like that'd be something that I would like to get good at. I'd, I'd like to be good at that. Um, it's definitely something I would do again. It's really expensive. I don't know how much membership is. You can Google it if you're interested, but it was fun. It was fun to try. It would never be my main workout. Kudos to the girlies who can do that all the time. That's just, it's not necessarily my, my main choice of fitness, but it was hilarious. So there's my review. Oh God, I hope I didn't miss anything. But obviously if you guys are curious, I'm happy to chat about whatever, but it was a hoot hilarious also this is how i've been doing my makeup while i've been here so i put the armani luminous silk foundation on then i have the makeup of mario bronzer i'm kind of just like interested in continuing this until i'm finished it you know in this moment um and then i also packed the nars soft matte concealer the soft matte concealer i haven't used this in a bit i have this in the shade 2.2 nougatine and i've been putting this on with an eyeshadow brush just i just really want to light makeup just because my skin's been so angry it just hasn't been looking great you know so just in those moments for me less is more i just want my skin to breathe a little bit even though i'm putting on three layers of base product I'm just trying to let it do its thing but i kind of forgot how much i loved this concealer it's always there in my everyday pile but i just haven't really been reaching for it at all i packed that in my dior concealer just depending on how i was feeling Great little concealer and i've just been letting like all my bags live and do their thing i just yeah really light makeup okay so then let's chat about remedy place because i don't remember if i actually talked about this in depth but the vitamin b12 shot i feel like that didn't do anything i remember the first time i got the b12 shot i was on a brand trip and they they put it in my arm they just asked dan and i oh do you guys want a b12 shot they were just giving them out and i was like for energy perfect sure sign me up and i remember the feeling like i felt it going through my body and i was like wow this feels great it just felt like there was heaven being poured into your veins that is the immediate feeling i got and this time i think maybe i was so unprepared for them to be poking it in my butt that i didn't know <laughs> didn't know what I'd be feeling <laughs> but I didn't feel a difference but also this because immediately following we went into the cold plunge so this little thing we did it twice actually like I've been here for three days we vlogged yesterday we did it the day before too Dan and I went on a kick last summer actually where we were filling our bathtub up with ice and we were doing a little plunge each morning like I am interested in the cold plunge life. I really appreciate that at that place, at Remedy Place, it's guided. So they do like a guided breath work for 10 minutes. Is it 10 minutes? I don't know how long it was. And then you do a six minute cold plunge and she's there like talking you through it, being like, okay, you have one minute left. Okay, this is what you should be feeling, which is actually really, really helpful um, because usually during a cold plunge, I'm just like, hmm, when is this torture over? What am I supposed to be feeling? Is this normal? And there's just so many, there's so many benefits. People have been talking about cold plunging so much. It's like definitely being really hyped up right now. I love a cold plunge. I'm interested in that being a part of my life. Six minutes is really long. It felt really long. I don't know if I would do that again. Like it was a cool thing to try. I enjoy the whole like wellness studio aspect of it. I think it's so fun and bougie. I just love that there's a world that exists where people go to something like that every day. I think that's so fun and I was very happy to try but I think for my own cold plunging life I'm happy with keeping it to two to three minutes. I don't need more than that. Do whatever you need to feel great. I definitely don't need to sit there and um, become hypothermic and freeze. <laughs> Next to my little makeup moment here, I am going to spray my face with Benefit Professional Setting Spray. I would like to do this before setting it with powder because I remember seeing someone say that once upon a time, eons ago, and I've thought about it ever since. So I have my little travel size Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is so foul. 
and scratched away. Rubbing some off in the palm of my hand and I'm just patting this in the center of my face. I also packed my Givenchy powder, but I feel like because I've been putting such a little amount of makeup and I'm also like not my usual, I've been putting this underneath my eyes. It's a little bit more matte feeling on the skin, so I don't feel like I need to set it so much. So on those moments, I just like a little bit of powder just to take down some of the shine but I'm not doing anything too pricey. And then even last night, I didn't put any blush on. I kind of just left like this because I was embracing the natural. But I also have this little Hermes bronzer. This is such a pretty bronzer. What is this called? Hermes Plein Air 03 Sahara. Let's do a little bit of extra bronze. Is this a little bit of a deep shade for me right now? Yes, yes it is. We just use a very small light amount. Then on my lips, the little combo I've been wearing, I have the Makeup Forever. Wherever Walnut Lip Pencil. And then Dior Rosewood Lip Oil. And then I actually packed the new Nude Sticks blushes, um, Magenta Magic and Pink Ice. But right now, listen, I'm just grumpy with my skin and there's just like a lot of pink here. So I'm not gonna put this on yet, but if I wanted to add to my makeup, I can put the blush on later. But for now, I'm just leaving it leaving it bronzed. Maybe I'll do a little bit of Fix Plus for some extra wetness. But that's pretty much it for the makeup. That's what we're rocking with. Okay, little outfit of the morning. Can you even see? I feel like this is blinding. I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no full length mirror in here, so I don't actually know what this looks like. But I like the top half, the bottom half could be terrible. We'll never know. This is my dish, little cutie linen vest. Then this skirt I actually bought, I bought on sale. Not that this matters, but I know some of you like contacts. Um, when we were in Montreal for F1, I believe I briefly said that I was like panicking about my outfit and I did a big last minute shop. Ended up buying an outfit at um, Essence, but I actually bought this skirt at Holt Renfrew. I got it on an insane sale. It's from Loewe. I thought it was so cool, so cool, so unique. Does it need a steam desperately? Yes, but we're ignoring that for now. And then these are my little Zara flip flops. So that's my outfit. One question. I've been getting so much in on these shoes. I wore these last night, posted them every single time I post them on Instagram. Everyone's like, oh my God, where are these from? I always tag them. You just gotta click the tag, but they're Helsa. I got them on forward. And I have to say, though they are gorgeous and they look so beautiful and I love wearing them for the looks, they are horrific to walk in, horrific. Could that just be because I have my crinkle toes and I'm just not able to wear things like this? That flippity floppity? I don't know, but they are so hard to walk in. But obviously, I mean, I've been wearing them a ton. They're great, they're so pretty. They're just really hard, they're really hard to walk in because there's no additional strap. Like these mule style sandals, I just struggle with. And if your foot gets a little bit sweaty, see you later, you're going nowhere. So that's my review on those. Please enjoy. Uh, we're gonna go for breakfast real quick. Have I talked to you guys about this bag? I don't know if I have. It's from a brand, Nagedi. And I love it. I've been using it so much. I got it in a like summer package from Holt Run Through. The colors are just fabulous. I love the yellow so much. I've been using it endlessly. But look at how disgusting it is. Look, look at that. That's disgusting. If this is like a reminder to not touch your face, it's so foul. And I don't know how to clean it. I need to figure out how this is washed because I simply can't let this bag lift this way. But if that shows you how much I've been using this bag, it's been daily. It's great and it fits everything, including my vlog camera, which is just such a treat. I just realized I didn't mention to you, I actually just stopped vlogging after Tracy Anderson yesterday because we literally just walked around. We were over 20,000 steps. We were just walking everywhere, walking, chatting, hanging out. But we remained in our sweat, like in our workout outfits from Tracy Anderson and we were just so foul and disgusting. We got back and quickly showered last night and ran to dinner. I just, we were all exhausted. <laughs> we were all exhausted. Tracy took the life out of us and our souls on that day. Okay, hello, we're back again. Hope you guys enjoyed. Basically had breakfast in New York and then flew home, witnessed a very beautiful sunset on the plane and that was my quick little girls trip and it was a blast and basically came home and we've been in the midst of all of our wedding prep and cleaning and clearing out and all that good stuff. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for the feedback on the vlog that I posted on Monday. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what year it is. <laughs> but I did do that big clear out and cleared out a bunch of things. I also went through a ton of PR and I've basically, I think we'll do five. I'd say I can comfortably put together six mystery boxes. So I'm gonna give you guys a brief little overview on the six giveaway piles. 
subject to change. I'm going to shift them around. I'm going to clean everything, put them in boxes, all that good stuff. And then I think in the comments below, guys, we're just going to randomly pick six giveaway winners. So for those of you who voted a resounding yes to the mystery boxes from my makeup declutter, um, you guys can enter it down below. It's going to be super casual. Just leave a comment down below. And if you do want to be considered for the giveaway, uh, just please include either your Instagram handle or your email, because that is how I will be contacting you. I just find if I respond to comments, it gets a little messy. So it'll either be a message on Instagram from my verified Instagram account and nothing else or my at alanarama gmail at what my alanarama uh, at gmail.com that is it and i think we'll just pick a winner within 24 hours because early bird gets the worm baby so depending on what time this goes live by thursday night you will be contacted and we'll have chosen the winners for the mystery boxes and i think that's really cute and i would love nothing more than to share some of these bits with you guys and not let them go to waste because there's just so many beautiful products and they're just they're just being collection but we'll pick six winners and send out some mystery boxes and that's cute it's like it's like makeup pen pals just gonna send out some goods and i think that's fun and it also just supports my clearing out efforts and i'm so thrilled about that and i'm also sorry that that video didn't get put to fruition but honestly i got it was it was kind of um it was a sad sniffly day you don't need to see that so i hope you enjoyed this vlog i hope you enjoyed the little <laughs> new york blip and had a blast and i also hope that you enjoy this random giveaway and thank you so much for your for your comments and feedback it's always helpful to hear and sometimes I just you know when we sit in the house and I sit here and ponder my own thoughts all solo like and we're like is this okay is this normal are people going to be weirded out by this but you're so right like people used to do blog sales all the time it's such a thing why wouldn't I pass these beautiful palettes and products on so let's do that please only enter once let's pray that no bots come swinging when they hear the word giveaway and don't send anyone money if anyone comments if any bots comment being like add me on whatsapp and send me money i will never ask you to send me money so just ignore those ignore the bots <laughs> yeah that's my little clear out guys Ooh, good luck to the winners 24 hours how cute thanks for watching i love you all so much and i'll see you all so soon for a new video bye